Hi, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the student's access slip. Uh, one of the things that I've found throughout the years, when um, especially when giving a uh, reading assignments, is giving the kids uh, some type of a fictitious role or purpose, uh, if you will. In this particular instance, uh, students are uh, doctors, so um, automatically the kids are uh, view themselves as something grander than they actually are. Um, they feel motivated, they definitely feel uh, ownership of the work, and they feel like they, they have a purpose like of importance. So that's always a, a good strategy in terms of um, for kids for writing with a purpose, uh, you increase engagement. Um, I've noticed that when I give doc, uh, students roles like this, for example, um, my churning rate uh, goes up uh, tremendously. So in this particular they were just creating a, a presentation. Uh, it could either have been a PowerPoint or it could have been a poster, a written format. Any, they had a, they had a choice. It's another big thing you want. You want to give students a choice of how they want to present information. As long as they're able to um, talk about the content um, and and they do it in a way where they're able to use some evidence-based approach, uh, I usually give them that that leeway. So. I'm going to just go a couple of student works that I felt that did uh, met the, the needs. In particular, I was making I was making sure that I was looking for uh, the connection between the circulatory system, uh, and this particular would be the heart, along with the respiratory system, which is the lungs. So the student understands really clearly how these two systems are interrelated, and the student did it through a beautiful drawing and a model, also with some writing and some evidence using a lot of the vocabulary that we had used um, throughout the uh, th throughout the lesson. So that would be student work. Example A. This did a more conventional type of approach, like a science fair, but with uh, definitely with questions, with steps, with diagrams, all using the m important thing is using the vocabulary that we had discussed throughout the lesson. Um, this student uh, had a beautiful drawing, uh, so they drew the kinesthetic learning, the all the vocabulary, and they also created a very um, informative explanation of what this was using a claim and evidence um, a paper. Student D, same thing, um, the connection between the heart and the lungs and the circulation visually understands uh, how those two are interrelated. The next piece is a uh, student did it in a, in a form of a graph graphic organizer. So uh, in terms of like a like a flow map. So very interesting, it was very unique. Uh, Definitely were able to logically see um, how blood is circulated throughout the body, picking up uh, oxygen and the removal of carbon dioxide. The next piece of evidence, uh, same thing, a student in a combination of reading piece and, um, and drawing along with all the vocabulary that we had learned. Uh, they made sure that these words were highlighted in both their picture and also in their uh, scientific explanation. Finally, this one was a very uh, aesthetically pleasing, again, um, combination of pictures and drawings and evidence-based approach. Uh, all vocabulary was, was mentioned. Uh, so students did really, really great. Uh, once again, uh, having students have a role uh, really helped in terms of um, writing piece. Thank you.